I hope you enjoy this vlog. Okay, so I don't even know what time it is now, but uh, now is when my day starts. I'm walking down to the bus, so I'm gonna take the bus to the airport. And I was thinking that I was going to vlog, or vlog everything on the way. It is black in the night sky, okay folks? This is North Norway. This is downtown in my city, Hasta. Fun fact, that is the city mall where me and Silvara hanged around every day when we were 16 years old. There's the first nightclub I ever went to when I was 18. Okay, now I am on the bus on my way to the airport. I played yonder on the flight, the entire flight. It was fabulous. We are now in Hamar. I've never been here before. It's actually quite amazing. I'm going to try and find the mall and see if I can find a GameStop here. <laughs> Such a nerd. walking around alone for a little minute in Hamar. It is really pretty here. <laughs> it's really pretty. I mean, the streets, all sorts of things. So I am just gonna try and find the mall and see if I can find a GameStop. Okay guys, I found the mall, but nothing is open yet. <laughs> it is too early. It's early morning, sorta. Of. There it is. I actually walked past this earlier today. Can't believe it. So we are now further up north in Norway, uh, I don't know, we are way north of Lillehammer. We have a small little stop now. What happened in Hamar was that when I went into GameStop, I started filming a little around. Immediately when the guy at work saw my camera, he walks up to me and says, no pictures, no filming in here. That really makes me wonder what the hell are they so afraid of that I might film? Because I feel like all GameStops are like that. <laughs> so I couldn't film in there. Either way, I saw Wolfenstein at the price 699. And that is uh, by far the most expensive Switch game I have seen, I think, yeah. Uh, that one takes the cake. Okay, so other than that, the road trip is going fabulously. We are having fun. We are having a lot of conversations. We are dreaming away with the Norwegian nature and actually a really nice weather today. Taking a little pitch stop, uh, there was nothing I wanted. Actually, I just filled my water bottle. I've been playing a lot of Yonder recently. I am trying to write a review for Yonder. It's coming up soon. It is uh, the game I want to review next, you know. I've already written a review for Hyrule Warriors, so that is also done. Just need to film that. I don't know if I already told you guys this, but uh, yesterday I ordered two Switch games. Finally, I ordered Shining Resonance Refrain. I've been wanting that for some time. It is a gorgeous uh, JRPG. 
and it very much reminds me of the Tales of series, even though there's like no connection there, but uh, in the playstyle. And I also bought Victor Ran, the ARPG, kind of place like Diablo and Titan Quest. I know those games will be in the mailbox when I get home. Home, that will be sweet. Other than that, the product that I am reviewing on this trip, this one, uh, it has charged up my switch to 100%. So yes, it works. And it still has a lot of charges left. I think so far that it can charge up my switch uh, three or four times up to 100. I believe so anyway, I will check that. Another thing that I was concerned about was that I was afraid that it was going to heat up somehow, but no, it is cold. So, yeah, it is uh, good so far. Hello, we are now at the hotel. Very <laughs> cute. It is uh, the next day today. We slept at the hotel. I showered yesterday. That was lovely. We are soon going to breakfast, but I am playing a little <laughs> Fatex Stella, the Umbral Star. I mean, I like the graphics, but they talk a lot. Oh my god, they talk a lot. In Japanese, even, yeah. So, we are now in Steinshar, that is like in the middle of Norway, uh, in the middle of nowhere. We will be driving further up north uh, today, but we will not reach Hosta today, we don't think. We, we know, I mean. So I think we are home in Hosta tomorrow, so there will be one more sleepover somewhere at a motel or hotel. Motel? I think it was. Uh, <laughs> it is exciting. I didn't play much the Switch uh, in the car yesterday because uh, we were busy in talking instead. We were also at uh, the <laughs> Sky Tower sort of restaurant going on yesterday and that was in Trondheim. But that is like a yeah restaurant that even spins a little around up there in the sky. So the view was fantastic. I've even been there before once but um, that is so many years ago so it was exciting to see it again. But I was so tired at that point. Couldn't really enjoy it too much because I was so tired but we had been sitting in the car for um, I don't even know how many hours but we started early morning and that was like late evening so it will be somewhat the same thing today. The uh, <laughs> the charger thing, it works still and uh, uh, it is keeping my battery full and nice and that reminds me I need to recharge my phone too. I have like 5%. So now we're going down to breakfast. <laughs> going I have been dry 
driving today already tired but i found a new soda that i've never seen before fanta strawberry and kiwi not the best but kind of good so anyways the camera i'm using to change subject all of a sudden but the camera i'm using is canon eos m10 uh this one is good but it's uh, somewhat slow in the autofocus okay we are now in Hordon in Norway never heard about this place before but uh, yeah, it's good good stuff no no yeah I am so incredibly sleepy this is the entrance to northern Norway it actually says northern Norway Nor Norge is where I live you know this is the best place in Norway okay air is so fresh the water is so clean and nature is so beautiful this is the place to be and now we are in motion nah. <laughs> going into a gas station really exciting stuff Det blir flau. Og alle blir så jævlig flau av meg. Ah, ja. Polar silk is sand. Yeah, of course, yeah. And they closed 10 minutes ago. at what we thought was a motel but it is actually a camping <laughs> but I am not complaining much it is uh, okay I guess yeah there's a glitch on camping it's kind of cozy but uh, yeah we will stay here till tomorrow and uh, drive further up north tomorrow we will be hitting Harstad we are now in Fuske Fuske camping a good night's sleep and rest and we will be back tomorrow it is the next day and we just woke up it is early morning and we are leaving now <laughs> today we are actually going to arrive in Harsta. we stayed there tonight this night i mean the night that was but anyways let's see how it goes
I hope you enjoyed a rather unusual video on my channel. It was a travel vlog and it is the first time I've really done a travel vlog like this. Let me know if you want more travel vlogs in the future. Uh, pff, I don't know. Let me know. Please follow my Twitter. I post there every day and I also update my Instagram a lot. You know, that is where I also hang around. I hang mostly on Twitter, that's that's my place, that's my domain, you know? But Instagram, I also hang there all the time, so... So, the pros and cons of this product is that it is kind of stuck in the pocket here. It's kind of hard to grab the switch out of this uh, socket. A positive thing with this one is that it is cold charging the switch. I was really worried, you know, leaving my switch inside of this and like packed in here and later there's like no air coming through. So I was afraid that it was going to, you know, go hot in here. But after charging it for some time, it was cold and nice in here. The product also charges the switch fast, I can confirm. Uh, it uh, didn't take long until I could uh, play on a 100% charged switch again. Link to this in the description and that was my honest review of it. It is fine, it is good, it is very good if you are into traveling a lot. So this is a wireless method of charging your switch. So I will be using this on travels and stuff like that when I am like going to be playing my Switch a lot and know for a fact that I will run out of uh, battery on it before I am in a place where I can charge it normally. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. And when I got home, I was met with these two in my mailbox, Victor Brown and Shining Resonance Refrain. I am so much looking forward to playing these games. I am not even sure which I'm gonna start with. I think maybe this one, Shining Resonance. I've been looking forward to this game. It is actually a rather nice physical copy, you know. It is a sleeve, it is a tin kind of box, and then the game is inside here, but it doesn't end there. Inside, there's actually a little piece of paper but it's just a piece of paper. But still, the Switch games never really usually have anything on the inside. Maybe live stream? I don't know. I'm not really into live streaming anymore. Do you guys miss that? Do you guys miss when I'm live? Oh. Thank you so much for watching today and you know, I will see you later. Bye!